Hi, my name is Josh Countryman. I'm the choir director at Henry Sibley. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to watch our March virtual choir concert. Um, uh, just a quick note, as with previous concerts, um, there are going to be some times when you're watching a, a video and you're going to hear more voices than people that you see on the screen. Um, I have some students who uh, are uncomfortable with the idea of their video being up on the screen, uh, and so they submit audio only. Um, I don't want that to be a barrier to participation, and so that's if you're if you're looking for certain people, they're in the mix. Um, and with that, uh, enjoy the show. Uh, one quick note: uh, we have there's a special number at the end, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. So. Thank you again. Enjoy.
Okay. 
Roses bloom and the sun will shine Leave your troubles in the world behind Stars shine brighter when you free your mind I've got the dreamer in me Ooh, And when we reach that destination Run. 
run out of wood again.
sister, we let them be in brother, we let them be in sister, we let them be
this next song is a song called Rise and Stand by Ariana Bella. Uh, it is a song that comes from a collection of songs about social justice and was the center of a collaboration between the uh, soprano and alto singers from Carillon and Chamber Choir here at Henry Sibley and the singers over at Visitation School and Convent under, under the direction of uh, Ronnie Rexroth. Uh, as we've been going through, uh, you know, the hardest year of our lives, um, it's uh, it's always been a, a challenge to try and find, you know, new and interesting and engaging things to do with students. And um, it came up in a conversation with Ms. Rexroth, the, uh, the idea of, of collaborating on a piece. Um, and it was really a, an incredibly neat experiment, uh, experience it wasn't just, hey, here's a piece of music, and now we're going to learn it to know and record it and then do the thing. Um, we actually met three times uh, on Zoom. The first time we met was with the composer, Ariane, uh, who was very kind and very gracious with her time. And uh, had a meeting. She talked about uh, why, why she wrote the piece, what was going on at the time, what were the, the motivations, the thoughts that were in her head. Um, the second meeting that we had was a meeting just between uh, our schools, uh, and we uh, had the students go into virtual breakout rooms and shuffle them so that, you know, it was uh, students mixed from each school, and had them talk about the text to the piece and what, you know, what that means to them, and, you know, to kind of dig deep into, into the message that the song really conveys. And uh, the final meeting was our opportunity to share our work uh, with the composer uh, who was with us once again um, and to celebrate a collaboration that might not have happened under normal circumstances. So um, it was a very, very cool opportunity. Um, I want to say thank you to Ronnie Rexroth for being willing to collaborate. Um, and. Uh, I think uh, I think the product is, was really neat, and I hope that this is the first of many collaborations. So, um, enjoy. This is Rise and Stand. Rise and Stand, it is advocating for what you believe in and how you believe in it, like, right, like standing up for your ethnicity, your race, your gender. Rising and standing um, means all coming together in unison um, to represent yeah. equality and acting um, on that we equality. We also talked about how rise and stand are both action words. Rise They're not passive. Rise and standing so is a two-step process that involves right. overcoming and, and persevering. To rise and stand is to advocate for your rights and the rights of a community using gentle strength, respect. When you make the changes within yourself, um, each of our individual actions is helping us come together and be better. I will rise with all my daughters.